Hello, this is Dan, and I'm live in Oklahoma City today with one of our favorite personalities, Casey. Casey here with Farmers Insurance Salvage and Recycling. I made the trip down to Oklahoma City today to visit Dan so we can come and tag team showing you the best in salvage. So Oklahoma's, Oklahoma City rather is my hometown, so I'll be coming to you live in the future. Casey's going to help me and show me the ropes today, and we're going to show you three great cars that I picked out. We've got a Jeep, a BMW, and a nice, nice Mercedes to show you. So let's just flip it around and we'll start with the Jeep. Here we go. We got a very nice um, 2015 Wrangler. It's got a lot of add-ons on it that we're gonna show you, uh, starting with this Smitty built bumper and winch. Look at that. I and believe it, that's a Ramsey winch we have on the Smitty built bumper. Okay, there you go. And we got the controller comes with it. Wait, this is a Smitty built winch. I misspoke. It's got it labeled right on there. That's what I thought. Okay. Smitty built. <laughs> okay. I saw that RC. I thought that may have been a Ramsey. There you go. Even got the tag on it. Got these special hood latches there. Nice, nice American Outlaw wheels. BF Goodrich all terrain tires. There's the mileage 51,443. Got the um, running boards on it with the steps, the nice custom bumper on the back. With a, we noticed that this tire back here is brand new. You can still see the little nubs on it. Yeah, the mold marks right here. Trailer hitch on the bumper. Mopar floor mats. Little oh, let, let's see if I can get that. We took those out. There's a little mud on this. This Jeep got some use as a Jeep apparently. Got some mud on the floor mats. And then we kind of come around right here, get you a little close up of the damage. This Jeep hit another car with the Smitty built bumper. And we found out during inspection that the frame is uh, damaged on this truck. And also that the tub on the Jeep is damaged. So you can see right here, we've got quite a gap going on there. The gap is not that wide on the other side. You can see it narrowing quite a bit to show you where everything is not quite square. And just to show you all the damage, we noticed the windshield was damaged there, but we're not sure if that's from the accident or prior. It could have been either. We got a little chip Casey's trying to show you. Mm -hmm. We noticed on the door here, looks like the door took a little um, of a beating there, flexed it a little bit. You can feel a little bit of a line here where it creases the paint. Open her up. Overall, a nice Jeep, cloth seats, got these custom grab handles on both sides. There's the back seat. We'll try and get you some more pictures. Come on this way. We're in the garage today in Oklahoma City. It is very windy today, very windy. I don't know if you can hear the, um, the big bay doors over there rattling. But it is windy today. Some custom lights there on the front. Both sides. Casey, start her up, man. Get her going. Can we get the mileage? Yep. Again? Yep. 51,443 on this. While I have a hold of our camera here show you some of our interior features pretty standard for this Jeep does have the full doors and power windows that roll down the tire pressure sensor is not particularly happy giving us some messages there but that's the only lights that we see on this dash the oil change is required pass that back on to Dan I'm not sure if this switch is turning off but this one's turning on the driving light. let's see those lights Turn it back on, man. Look at that. Nice. So this is a run and drive, and this car is not in the auction today, but it will be in the auction next Tuesday right here in Oklahoma City. All right. And we'll go ahead and finish up with this one, and we'll be back live with another video here in a moment featuring another one of our best in salvage. Thanks for tuning in.